Happy party, here we come. You see Manhattan skyline and the sunset, yay! Hi, going to Poland. Happy party, here we come. I had a week and a half in Poland before Ami party. In that time, I drank vodka, taught my nephew how to play Shadow of the Beast. You like the Amiga Kubush? Amiga! Ah. <laughs> High five! Drank more vodka. Goham Amiga. Visited Old Town, drank beer, ate kielbasa, and drank more vodka. When it was finally time to head to Ami party, I packed into my in-law's car and drove across the Polish countryside to the outskirts of Helm the city where Ami Party takes place and home of the Helm Amiga Legion. All right, so my wife and her family just dropped me off basically in the middle of nowhere in Poland. So this is, this is a little crazy. You know, about five years ago, I was on Google Plus and I saw a post from some of these Polish guys and they posted a really cool video of a party. So I was like, hey, that party looks awesome. You're Polish, my wife's Polish, you know, who knows what could happen someday. So I got talking to them, they're really good guys. And uh, it turns out they're having a party in August. I saw this back in January. So I was like, hey, maybe I can plan my trip to Poland this year in August so I can come meet these guys at their party. And you know, <laughs> sure enough, like here I am. All right, it looks like we're at Image Productions or something. <laughs> oh, uh, here's one of the guys. We are waiting. All right, how's it going? <laughs> Bill, <laughs> nice Tomek. to meet you. <laughs> nice, nice, nice to meet you, you Tomek. <laughs> Nice to, you. Nice to meet you. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, look at the oh chaos engine, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. This, is, this is gonna be good. I got a lot of minutes to get Taura presenting some Commodore 64 demos and in a couple of in a couple of minutes Mario is going to show us a bit about Amiga demos. Woo! Are you interested? Oh yeah! <laughs> Bill! Bill, are you interested? Woo! He says yes. Are you ready? Private stash of Polish moonshine vodka. <laughs> That's, that's not Johnny Walker in there, not at all. That's no, no, homemade no, no, Polish no, no, moonshine. No, no. <laughs> Johnny Walker is um, um, weak. Yeah. <laughs> and Johnny Walker is very weak compared to this stuff. It's incredible. It's delicious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> These guys are awesome, man. Abby party is crazy. Friday night. I can't believe it. This is awesome. Come on. Come on. Come on. These guys rule. And the party was just starting. All right, it's Saturday, August 13th, 2016. Getting ready for day two of Ami Party. Man, I can't believe how cool the guys are here. I didn't really know any of them. I just kind of showed up here, and you know, the welcome that they gave me was just mind-boggling. Uh, it's really a testament to Amiga users and uh, and the Polish Amiga users how welcoming they are to uh, someone like me who they've never even met before. I already feel like I'm family. It's it's really something special and uh, I'm so happy to be here. All right, time to go in and, uh, and see our new friends and have a great day. Ami party happens twice per year and takes place over three days. There's a large room filled with tables where people set up their systems. There are all sorts of Amigas, 1200s, 4000s, and many custom builds like this Towerized 1200 with a Blizzard PPC accelerator. Guys get together and talk about their systems, current projects, and show off any cool pieces of hardware that they have acquired. 
This Ami party included a sensible soccer tournament, graphics competition, and mod music competition. The party is mostly Amiga, but not exclusively. For example, here's a cool device made by one of the members named Keyshell called the UK1541, which is a floppy drive emulator for the C64. I was very impressed with how many guys at Ami Party make their own hardware. This is Crashin. He was on the Morph OS development team and now makes his own custom hardware. He showed me an SD to IDE adapter that mounts neatly to the motherboard and allows the hard drive LED to flash correctly when the car is being accessed. He also showed me a custom MIDI adapter and told me he is working on a headphone amplifier. Usually it starts that I, I need some hardware for me. <laughs> uh, then I uh, talk with uh, people if it may be useful for more people. If they say, yes, it's good, do it for us. So I design it, uh, manufacture it and sell it. As I was looking around, the guys asked me if I wanted to join the Sensible Soccer Tournament and I jumped at the opportunity. The tournament lasted several hours, and this gave me the opportunity to do a few short interviews between matches. I interviewed two of the Ami Party organizers, Sir Lucas and Yanot. So can you guys tell me a little bit like what's going on this weekend in this amazing place? Well, this is a retro event um, emphasizing mainly Amiga computers and com Commodore computers. We started this event in 2006. At, at first it was a, you know, like a local one and really 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 small one in small club yeah it was a music club i think you know music heavy club. metal club ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> satan stuff like that you know we like it also by talking on forums by experiencing by uh, exchanging information by you know doing all that stuff and communicating with a lot of people from all from different parts of poland we we managed we managed you know to to to, to grow one of the main ways the Polish Amiga users communicate with each other is through the Polish Amiga portal. This is GRX, who programs and manages the portal. Polski portal Amigowy, it's PPA.pl. More than uh, 10 years that uh, we gathering uh, Polish uh, Amiga community, support this community in uh, events and uh, publishing news, publish uh, articles that uh, user uh, submit uh, to us. And uh, we uh, are some kind of uh, place uh, on the internet where uh, people from Poland have feeling that they are at home. The Amiga community is so strong in Poland that there are actually several Amiga gatherings. This is Gumboy who co-organizes Decrunch. We're here at, at Ami Party. We are the Mosiners and we're here because it's awesome party for the retro computing guys. The Decrunch is a kind of like you wanted to do uh, the uh, retro party with actually those guys that are not much into demo scene but they the retro computers are their hobby but not the demo scene and we also wanted to engage the guys that do the demo scene. So you know that, that's like the, the crunch tries to combine it and we will never separate it. This is Dead Man. He explained to me that even though the Amiga was very popular in Poland, its popularity peaked later than in most countries due to Poland being behind the Iron Curtain. When the Berlin Wall came down, guys would venture into Germany, pick Amigas out of the garbage, and bring them back to Poland. Dead Man had a collection of instruction manuals that were translated from English to Polish, but they were not official translations of the actual manuals. They were written by regular people who had pirated copies of the program and wanted to share their knowledge with other Polish-speaking users. Deadman also explained that the Polish government actually promoted piracy. There were government-sponsored radio stations that would broadcast the audio tones for software over the air and people would record them onto cassette tape and then load them onto their machine. Back inside, Stoney was going around interviewing everyone. This is a great tradition because you get lots of good information about people, and Stoney is extremely entertaining. <laughs> As the night progressed, more vodka and beer were consumed, and the festivities culminated with an epic karaoke contest. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, Amy Party exceeded all my expectations. I'm just so impressed with their level of enthusiasm for the Amiga. Guys making their own software, their own hardware, organizing multiple Amiga parties per year that get hundreds of attendees each, it's absolutely incredible. And of course, their level of hospitality is just out of this world. I was family from the moment I walked in. And when I left, they gave me this awesome parting gift. It's an 802.11b wireless card for my 1200. I can't wait to go set this up. Guys, thank you so much. This means the absolute world to me. Speaking of hospitality, I have to give a huge shout out to my buddy Conrad Kokos Kostecki. He's the one I kept in touch with on Google Plus throughout the years and convinced me to go to Ami Party. Once I decided to go, it was just first class treatment the whole way. He set everything up for me. He helped immensely with this video. He did all the subtitles. He set up all the interviews for me. Like he did so much, I just can't list it all here. Conrad, Junculia Barzo, I couldn't have done this without you. Without you, I would have never made the trip. I would have never made this video. And I would have never met these amazing new friends. Thank you so much. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have lots more coming up. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Guru Meditation. Do widzenia, koham Polska. Are we are just machines. Controlled by mathematics We dream electric dreams Got lost in human traffic Are we are just machines Controlled by math and my things We dream electric dreams Got lost in human traffic